Scott, welcome to a segment here in my observatory here in uh, Johnstown, Ontario. We're just uh, currently testing the HD10 directly on a uh, HD and my monitor and I tell you the view is just unbelievable I'll show you what just walking around everything is shaking as you can see but uh, the video camera cannot possibly capture what I'm seeing we see a little bit of reflection from the monitor here um, but the live view is just simply amazing I have a wireless mouse here at the moment and I'm going to show you a little bit. Here's the, the mouse. All you got to do is bring the, the mouse on the right and you've got a full slew of exposure here. Menu. You could record directly to your card if you wish. And uh, you've got a bunch of uh, different uh, settings. Right now the settings are second zero, hundreds of millisecond zero, and uh, microseconds only 44. So we're gonna bring that up a little bit brighter, but it gets too bright. So for this image here, I think 40 is about it. It shows us some uh, amazing detail uh, in the sun. And uh, this is just to show you quickly. What you could do, if you go on the other side with the mouse, you have another slew of things here that you get to adjust zoom out you also got a cross here uh, that you could uh, generate you could have it in green and uh, you could turn it off you got a whole bunch of stuff here just to show you some of the menu here of the hd10 uh, professional camera made for uh, basically uh, public outreach i'm just going to leave it at that for now and this is done, uh, I'm using a wireless uh, mouse at the moment, but it does come with a wired mouse. This mouse was picked up on Amazon for $10.99. Jack Hercamp's idea was for me to give it a try and see if it would work. Well, it does. Now, in an observatory, you gotta control, <laughs> you really have to control spiders and bugs. Here's my 40 millimeter, um, Coronado uh, telescope here. Uh, it's a 40 millimeter and it's covered with spider webs. No matter what you do, you could take them all off, you could clean them all off, and I guarantee you in two days it's back again. So this is a 16 inch uh, LX200, and here's my main rig, which is uh, for the sun with is a Coronado uh, 60 millimeter. The Solar Max 2, and it too has quite a lot of uh, spider web. And here is the camera in question. So at the back here, we've got the SD card, and in the USB socket, I inserted the receiver for the mouse. This is the HDMI output and the power. And you have a red light for power, confirmation, and blue uh, that it's turned on. But at the moment, in the sky, we're looking through clouds. There's thin clouds all over the place. So, and I'm just gonna show you, this is my, my test ground here of all sorts of the cameras and design that we do and focal reducers. Thank God for the large fork mount of this telescope. And just to show you some other uh, uh, cameras that I have here. It's a heck of a mess, but we have to test and retest, redesign, and um, make sure that everything works really good before we're gonna release anything on the market. I tell you, this view of the sun is just amazing on the monitor. And I just quickly adjusted it. And I'm using a Barlow also. Uh, the Barlow that I'm using is the Malin Cam 2.5 times. Um, Apochromatic. And uh, it's certainly, uh, uh, helps to bring those nice high power uh, views a close up of detail of the sun. So here's here's the camera in action right now. It comes with a uh, USB cable and uh, boy oh boy I really like the view on the monitor. I don't want to put this on the internet 
uh, directly on NSN. I would rather just show you for real, not doc top, not all pretty up, not process pictures that we always see online. I find this so cheating and dishonest. What you see is what you get. And I tell you, I really wish my little um, uh, Andy cam here uh, was a better quality. I can't even uh, resolve the writing on the monitor here. So it's, uh, I'm not using the best uh, one here for now to film this, but I would really, really hope that some of you could uh, see this. Uh, what I'm going to do is uh, change speed and hopefully be able to see other details on the sun. Not much action. I did see some uh, prominence earlier. And uh, I tell you, if the crowd looks at this, they are going to be blown away because you'll never see that ever through uh, any other means than using a, a H Alpha solar scope and a good uh, public outreach camera. And of course, uh, here's this is all the wiring going from uh, my mount, so I got to watch it quite a lot. Everything is hooked up over here, right through the fork mount. These are all the wires that are going through and everything eventually makes it to the floor. And as you can see on the uh, 16 inch, look at the cowboy we got on this. It's, it's just disgusting. There's not much we could do. Being by the St. Lawrence Seaway, we are uh, plagued with uh, spiders everywhere. And uh, it is what it is. Um, these are the wiring here that goes through everything. There's different wiring that I'm testing. Here's some custom wires I just made at the shop uh, a couple of weeks ago for power. And they're using super big gauge uh, wiring. And these are extenders actually that we'll be uh, working on. I also made some very nice custom made, handmade BNC connectors and wires of professional grade. You can't buy this in stores. You gotta buy rolls. Of wire and install the plugs yourself so I'm getting ready to change all of my uh, wiring uh, in here there's the, the plugs we install ourselves here and of course uh, we've got the, the spider band here but <clears throat> bug spray something we're gonna do a little bit later <clears throat> excuse me here's the uh, this is a 2.3 plus that uh, we're probably gonna try to test out tonight with a slight uh, alteration done to it and uh, uh, this is the uh, 16C beautiful beautiful and uh, and I believe on the other side is where the 16M is and here's my curved monitor I just got I'm not entirely pleased with it uh, frankly it gives me a headache so hopefully we're gonna change that uh, soon again get a bigger monitor and screw it directly on the wall I think that'll be the best way to go and uh, yeah that's about it just wanted to show you a quick uh, a view of what the uh, HDM, HDMI camera is doing and uh, tonight we're gonna test it out on deep sky object and then uh, they will be available hopefully in June sometime. Okay, this is it for the short video. And here's the other dome. This is the back part of uh, my place. And this is the other dome that we're going to be opening a little bit later tonight. There. This is it for the small demonstration of the HD10 camera. Hope you like it.